Today we will discuss about analytical chemistry of class 10. The first salt that we'll detect is calcium salt. When calcium salt is treated with sodium hydroxide solution, we get a white precipitation. When excess of sodium hydroxide is added to it, the white precipitation remains insoluble. This white precipitation is due to the formation of calcium hydroxide. But when ammonium hydroxide is added to the calcium salt, no precipitation is obtained. As ammonium hydroxide is a weak electrolyte, the OH- ion which is produced is not sufficient enough to precipitate calcium ion in the form of calcium hydroxide. Zinc ion. When zinc salts are treated with sodium hydroxide solution, initially a gelatinous white precipitation is obtained. When excess of sodium hydroxide is added to it, the white precipitation get dissolved. This white precipitation is due to the formation of zinc hydroxide. But when excess of sodium hydroxide is added, it forms sodium zincate, which is a soluble salt. When ammonium hydroxide is added instead of sodium hydroxide to the zinc salt, we get the same observation. But here, the white precipitation zinc hydroxide get dissolved in excess of ammonium hydroxide due to the formation of tetraamine zinc sulfate. Moving to lead salt. When lead salts are treated with sodium hydroxide solution, initially a chalky white precipitation is obtained, which is soluble when excess of sodium hydroxide is added to it. This white precipitation is due to the formation of lead hydroxide and when excess of sodium hydroxide is added, sodium plumbate is formed due to which the white precipitation get dissolved. Instead of sodium hydroxide, when ammonium hydroxide is added to the lead salts, initially we get a chalky white precipitation. But when excess of ammonium hydroxide is added, this white precipitation does not get dissolved. Moving to ferrous salt. When ferrous salts are treated with sodium hydroxide solution, we get a dirty green precipitation, which is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. This dirty green precipitation is due to the formation of FeOH whole twice ferrous hydroxide. We get the same observation when ammonium hydroxide is added. Moving to ferric salt. When ferric salts are treated with sodium hydroxide solution, we get a reddish brown precipitation which is insoluble in excess of sodium hydroxide. This reddish brown precipitation is due to the formation of ferric hydroxide. For ammonium hydroxide, we get the similar observation. When copper salts are treated with sodium hydroxide solution, initially we get a pale blue precipitation. When excess of sodium hydroxide is added, this pale blue precipitation of copper hydroxide remain insoluble. When ammonium hydroxide is added, initially a pale blue precipitation is formed, but it gets dissolved in ammonium hydroxide to form an inky blue solution. This inky blue solution is due to the formation of tetraamine copper sulfate.